Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to you. I hope you're well. My name is Nick, we're looking at Atomicat. Yes, it's on the ZX Spectrum and it's a homebrew on the 48K, published by Ariel Endrores, uh, who also gave us Vampire Vengeance uh, all in 2020. Vampire Vengeance was a good game, so I'm hoping this one is okay as well. You control a cat in this one, Atomic Cat. You've probably seen the uh, relevance. But each level, we got um, our hearts is gradually ticking down and we must get to um, certain checkpoints before that's run down to zero. So I'm that cat down the bottom left, there's some woman. And you see that fan there? I think we have got to get to the next fan by doing going our way across. Can't get up there. Um, at the moment, the heart isn't ticking down until we get up to the top. Each level gets progressively more difficult, but you were sort of like expecting that, wasn't you? Anyway, so handles sort of okay. Right, now the heart's ticking down. That goes down to zero. We've had it. If you bump into any of these ghastly enemies, it's very red this. If you bump into any of these ghastly enemies, the time will go down a little bit quicker. We've got to get over that lamppost. Can't get up there. Right, and we can't walk past the lamppost. Cats can't walk past lampposts. Right, okay, so it's controlling a little bit awkward um, uh, for me, but it's just a question of getting used to it, and it's nice to control a cat. Um, you know, it doesn't, uh, there's no colour clash here, it doesn't, well, ever so slightly, it's just like a box around it. Game over, we run out of hearts. Um, yeah, so ever so slightly clashing, but not to any great effect, and it's certainly not colour clashing. So, Ariel Androres. I don't know how to say your name, sorry sir. Right, away we go. There's the girl. We know what we've got to do now, so it's going to be quite addictive, this one. I'm enjoying it already, and I think you should track it down. I um, downloaded it from a website called Spectrum Computing and typed in Atomic Cat, and it gave us all the information. There's no instructions here, so um, I think I know what I'm doing, but there's a chance I might not do. Right, over one lamppost, these aliens are sort of like buggy eye things. Walk, oops, so yeah, our heart took a bit of a pound in there. Now, I think we need to jump through there. Now, you see the... Um, Oh, actually, it's not the fan we have to get to. It's the it's the cat icon you can see on the bottom left. Oh, 17. Do we have to get up there or down the bottom? No, it's not the fan. Come on, Nick. Down there. There we go. So you go up to 99 hearts, and then we go to the next stage. There's no codes on this one, so if you die, i.e. you run out of hearts, then that is it, and you have to start all over again. But it's not going to start from 99, so we can take a breather until we get onto the next bit. So here we go. Gradually more and more difficult, it's red, it's, well, it's pretty demonic. Oh, cool, that's lucky to get away with that. Right, so try and time your path through. It's well designed this game, it's good graphics, a, set, a good uh, sound at the start, not much actually in the game itself, but it is 48k. Come on, catty, oh, I ran out of, yeah. How can I go, I should have gone a bit quicker then. Right. I'm going to keep saying this, I'm going to keep playing it over and over and over and over again. You see on the bottom there's the hearts, but it does get more complicated later on, it looks it looks like there's an amount of keys to collect, and then something on the far right. Now this isn't going to be a walkthrough, so don't expect it as such. Um, I pretty much play it how the newbie would have done on the first second go, to tell you is it worth persevering with in a time where we haven't got too much time. And I would say yes. It's a little bit trickier than a lot of games, but um, you can do like myself probably on the first or second go now you've seen that I'm doing it you'll probably get to at least the third or fourth stage and I've only been playing it for a little while see I've done I've aced that this time that was 40 left take a breather I can't think of too many other games where you're controlling a cat either and I, I quite like that good animation when he's walking along and when he's staying still Meow. what was that there was a cat there right Meow. Let's get over here and we can, whoops, close. So let's get to stage two. Go around this like special maze thing. Yeah, it is quite welcome into the, uh, the newbie player, this one. Uh, I, I like it. I tend to like a lot of the uh, homebrews that are, are made. This one is pretty cool. And on the 228k as well. So 10, oops, I'm running out of time. How do I get through there? Oh, you can push that barrel, right? I've discovered that a bit too late, I think. Unless we can get up there, can we? Quick, 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 quick. Oh, yes. Just in the nick of time. How about that then? So that's about three stages done, or is it four? Nice choice of colours. Unusual with the red background there, but I'm quite liking it. First of all, I thought it was quite hellish, but I'm liking the thing. Right. Oops. Oh. And now we're stuck between lampposts. Hmm. If you're also stuck between lampposts, then comment below. Every Wednesday on the channel, we tend to do a homebrew on the Zex Spectrum because there's so many good ones about the place. 
Um, if you want to see more of them, check out the ZX Spectrum Reviewed uh, playlist. Uh, I seem to mark it out in the title as a home rule, but we're going to have to wait for the clock to run out here because we're stuck. Um, I've never heard of the fire brigade being called out to try and rescue a cat stuck between lampposts. Anyway, game over. 2020 this one. 2020. A year of double lockdowns, but loads of great games coming out. So I suppose when people are in lockdown, they're writing these amazing games. Oh man, can I complete the game now? If you have completed this one, let me know. You've probably put a little bit of time into the thing. Can't push that barrel along. Let us know what happens at the end and how many stages are there because I'm just doing the uh, the basic ones at the moment. But I sense there's quite a lot of deviousness going on later on and I wouldn't mind, whoops, I wouldn't mind getting to that. I think it's quite forgiving first of all. I think you can bump into a few of the enemy but can't do that later on when time gets a little bit shorter. It's a time thing, it's, it's um, a skill thing and I suppose a platformer of sorts. Can't think quite of any other games um, like this. It's flip screen, it's not scrolling. I think it works better as flip screen. The, the, the rooms of the screens haven't got any names like Jet Set, Willy or Manic Miner or anything, but it doesn't need to. It feels like you're actually traveling some sort of distance. And I can imagine playing this on my phone or something similar. Not sure if it's been coded onto any other um, device. If you know, let me know. Did it make it to Commodore 64 or, or the phones? It feels like it would make it to phone games. I've run out of time again. That was slower than last time, you wally. But you can see I was always at the cat icon. Another go. We knew I was going to have another go, didn't we? We certainly did. Check out um, other works by the same author, Vampire Vengeance. Played it on a live stream quite a while ago. Uh, and also there's a proper review up of that. I think um, he's done a, uh, maybe a couple of other games. So maybe we'll come to them as well if they're of the quality of this. I love Vampire Vengeance. Not quite sure yet if I like this one better. It, it feels a bit different. But what I do like is he's gone for two very different feeling games. Rather than the same thing straight away. One after the other. So that that's good. It shows a bit of uh, ingenuity to try and create something different. And it's a you know it's an interesting colour scheme. It's quite different from most other stuff. That goes rubbish, Nick. Go again. Go again, right. As I told you the last time, this is my last go. Right. Heart's not ticking down at the moment, as we know. It only starts ticking down when we get up to the top on the ledge. Right, away it goes. Over the alien. Let's do a speed run now, folks. Let's have some top game. <laughs> I was gonna say let's have a top game play, and I failed to jump even on the ledge. You have to watch it with the with the with the jumping. You can um, if you keep your finger on the jump button, you'll do a long jump. If you take it earlier, do a slightly shorter jump. This makes it a bit of skill there to try and um, um, time it sometimes, and it gets a bit tight. But anyway, stage Van Dan. He's done stage one. Ha 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 ha. Go cat go, atomic cat. Now, Atomic Cat, I'd imagine, used to be Atomic Kitten beforehand, like the band. Uh, Atomic Kitten, made up of three girls. It wasn't always the same three girls. I think they changed their lineup quite quickly. I think it consisted of millions of people. Um, if you've been in Atomic Kitten, comment below at some point, and I think it'd probably be, well, all of you, I think. Everyone's been in Atomic Kitten at some point. It's like jury duty. Right, push it over, Cat. 20 seconds. Up here. Oh, come on, get up there. Good. Through here, down there, up there. Boom! And that, this is about as far as we got last time, isn't it? Because we didn't do the next stage. Come on, Nick. Over, over the lampposts. Now, this needs a bit of time in this. Don't fall between the lampposts. That's it. Line that up. Good, we're through. 67 seconds left. Still, it's not over. Looks like we need to drop down here. Don't crash into the uh, alien thing. Oh, get up! Oh, look at that. That's cost us a lot of time, that. Oh, 12. I don't think we're going to do it unless it turns up quite quickly. Oh. That one collision with the enemy cost us so much time. Hmm. Uh, well, you know, I think... Uh, should we have another go at it? I think maybe we should do. Or maybe we shouldn't do. What do you think? Should we have another go? It's definitely worth it. Uh, we're gonna have another go. I, I wasn't, I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy with the way that one ended. I probably won't get as far this time. Track this game down. Excellent. Atomic Cat. 48k. Ariel Andrews. Good. 2020. Um, I, I got a funny feeling I'll end up uh, live streaming this game at some point as well. 
Download it today, you could be playing it today if you own a real Spectrum or indeed emulation. As I say, the website I got it from was Spectrum Computing, which is a pretty nifty site with lots of uh, details about games and stuff on there. Right. It's my favourite at the moment, I would say. That's a shout out for them. Don't know if they'll return the uh, the favour, probably not. Hooray! Right. Go kitty go. There's no kitty litter in this. Go cat. Whoa! Oh no, go cat. That's a, that was a cat food, wasn't it? Now we've done that collision, that might cost us a bit of time. I don't know, might do it if we don't bump into that thing. Push the barrel across. Can't wait for that thing. Up we go. I think we're going to do it. Right, so we've got the time back and it's back up to 99. 99 red balloons. 99 red balloons go by. Right, a night on the tiles. Cats always jump onto the top of lampposts. We all know this. Meow. Right. Right, this is about where we got last time, but we had a collision which cost us lots of... Oh, no! Oh, that worked out. That was a fluke, that was. An error put me in a good position, so don't fall down. Don't fall down, Nick, and we should be able to do it. It's a long jump here. Come on. Yay! There's the thing up there. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I must have mucked up there. I should have jumped the other way. Well, I could keep going on like this and having another go, then having another go, and having another go. But I think we'll leave that one there. Hope you liked having a look at that one. That was the brilliant Atomic Cat a Homebrew on the ZX Spectrum 48K, published by Ariel Enduarez in 2020. If you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. You're always more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fun. Goodbye. Goodbye.